What drives me? Um, to be the best. I feel like I'm a very hardworking person. So I just fight to become the best. He was like, when you do your running, when you do your push-ups, when you do your planes, try to chase that the person from the other country. Try to be the best in the world. And that's what I'm trying to chase now. I'm trying to be the best in college rugby, high school rugby, club rugby, and the world rugby. That's my goal. Well, growing up, we had about, there was about six of us, but then growing up, we were um, in the hood, so then we didn't have as much time to play outside or practice, so we would mostly have our practices during the day. We'll go to a gym to play or a park, just have fun, learn the skill of the game. We grew up actually in um, LA, so we were basically on uh, Crenshaw Boulevard is where we grew up, and then when we got older, we moved out, our parents, and then we moved to Manhattan Beach. And then that's how we got here. And my mom, hardworking, um, works, she works in Alhambra, she t makes a long drive every day. Um, she currently has custody of my cousins and is working to like keep them in with our family. So now she's trying to rebuild a new family within our own. And she doesn't have the most money, but she fights to make ends meet so I can do what I need to do, especially rugby. So I think that motivates me a lot. My dad, my dad, I, I see him a lot because he picks me up, but that's the only time I really talk to him because he works multiple jobs. He's a referee, he does jumpers, he's a um, manager of parks and recreation. Juwan Johnson is a senior rugby player. Despite having played the sport for just a year, it's changed his life in ways both unprecedented and unexpected. I started playing rugby actually last year, and I got into it after football because I just had a major injury. I broke both my wrists, and I was looking for a sport to bounce off of it because I had a terrible football season because I didn't really get to experience it. So rugby was like my aftermath, and I just wanted to play a sport that was as similar to football as possible. So how did Johnson go from never having played rugby in his life to attracting the attention of several major universities and colleges? I don't know, like, I touched the ball and they were just like, you know, I was passing and they were like, you're a national, I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, you're passing like a normal rugby player. I think it was just a love for like a football type of sport because I was missing football as it is. I think it just clicked because I needed something else to like relieve the past season and just happened. Johnson's natural talent and ability inside and outside of the classroom made his college search criteria specific. Where was the right place to study for a unique athlete like Juwan Johnson? Juwan, Juwan's been going through and through with colleges. He's been a rugby, a Griffins rugby player, USA rugby, All-American. So a lot of colleges want him, Dartmouth wants him, Arizona wants him. It's the fact that the school that he wants to go to. Well, basically, when I started looking for colleges, like I didn't have any idea like where I wanted to go. I knew what I wanted to study. But for sports, I was like, I filled in for the NCAA, I did all that stuff. I'm just like, I want to find a rugby school. So basically what I did was I applied to a lot of colleges that had rugby schools. And then like, they were hearing about me because I was just developing as a player. And I became really well, really fast. Like, I got into the Southern California Griffins and like USA, high school Americans, like all the colleges starting to look at me. And then like, my coach one day was just like, I have a college that I play rugby at, and he was like, what college is that? And I was just like, he, was, he said Dartmouth, and I was just like, well, that's interesting, where is that? And he told me all the information, gave me everything, and that was one of the main colleges I focused on after the fact, because he said it would develop me more, and it would get me closer to the USA program. But they still have to send out the acceptance letters, so we're hoping he is, and hoping we get the letters in the mail soon. Well, it was first, the first reaction, are they good at rugby? That's basically all Juwan cared about. So they, we found out that they were number one in their division in rugby. So that was the first thing. And then we found out later that they're a really good, smart school, so which would be good for Juwan since he's um, trying to major in um, nuclear engineering. Yeah, in college I'm studying nuclear engineering. Where did that come from? Just young kid inspirations. I looked up at the stars and want to know the science about everything. I love science and that's my passion and nuclear engineering is just another stepping stone for me. I want to create limitless energy for the world. I know it's, it 
sounds impossible, but it's my goal. Johnson's diligence and commitment in life have manifested into his development in rugby and passion for physics-based science. He's not choosing one or the other. His love lies with both. So it's going to be physics and nuclear engineering. So that's what I'm trying to do with college. I know it sounds difficult, but a lot of impossible things could happen. Just like me playing rugby. I didn't even know about the sport two years, three years ago. So a lot of crazy things have happened. Across the nation, high schools foster the talent of teenage athletes hoping to play at the next level. These schools are the origin of soon-to-be nationally famous college athletes. Academically driven and athletically gifted students like Juwan Johnson are the blueprint for unlimited future. For La Vista Live and the LA Times High School Insider, this has been Connor Layden and Jimmy Shaw.